Thursday musings and six plus years as a member of the media and uh, as a talk show host in the outdoor community. Nothing has fascinated me more than this uh, dynamic between pro-wolf and anti-wolf people. And uh, science clearly lies with one group, while emotions and feelings um, are what fuels <laughs> the other side. And I was, uh, I was just actually looking for some content today uh, on wolves killing elk. And I came across this great site. And it's sad because these are the misconceptions that are put out there by that faction. Uh, and, and this was regarding wolves in Yellowstone. Here's some real gems for you. The top seven reasons why we need wolves in Yellowstone. Reason number seven. Without wolves and other large predators, ecosystems go haywire. A study found that when wolves went extinct in Yellowstone, the moose population ballooned to five times its normal size, and they demolished woody trees needed for birds to nest. Okay, well guess what? Where we once had 2,500 moose, we now have 400 moose in Yellowstone. But the good thing is we have five times too many wolves preying on five times too few moose. That makes sense, right? Reason six. Scavengers thrive when wolves are around. The species that help themselves to wolves' leftovers include ravens, magpies, wolverines, eagles, weasels, grizzly bear, and more than 445 species of beetles. That sounds like a lot of beetles, right? It's not. Uh, there are over 350,000 species of beetles in the world. So it's really a drop in the bucket. God bless the beetles, though. Love them. Uh, but, uh, reason five why we need more uh, wolves in Yellowstone. Yellowstone elk are less likely to overgraze near rivers and streams, damaging fragile ecosystems. Well, yeah. Elk are less likely to graze at all, or breathe, for that matter, when wolves are around. Reason four. Why we need wolves in Yellowstone? Wolf kills are also good for the soil. A 2008 study in Michigan's Isle Royal National Park found that wolf killed carcasses dramatically enhanced levels of nitrogen and other nutrients. So, uh, apologies to all the moose out there who've ever died of natural causes. Your bodies were pretty much worthless. Reason number three why we need wolves in Yellowstone. When wolves disappeared from Yellowstone, coyotes preyed on pronghorn almost to the point of no return. But since wolves have returned, the pronghorn have come back. In fact, get this, pronghorns tend to give birth near wolf dens since coyotes steer clear of that area. How do you feel about that big guy? Is that not one of the most ridiculous things that you've ever heard? Of course it is. Reason number two why we need wolves in Yellowstone. Deer and elk congregate in smaller groups when wolves are around. This helps reduce the transmission of illnesses like chronic wasting disease. Well, yeah. Animals tend to congregate in smaller groups when there's less of them around. Also, chronic wasting disease, never a positive test in Yellowstone. So, once again, this is the kind of crap that they put out there. It's just lie after lie after lie. Reason number one why we need wolves in Yellowstone. Wolves help protect against climate change. Can you believe that? They're like Al Gore's best friend. Uh, one study in Yellowstone concluded that milder winters, a product of climate change, have led to fewer elk deaths. This left scavengers like coyotes and ravens scrambling for food. But the problem was far less pervasive when wolves were around. Who would have thought? The solution to global warming was right in front of our faces. We need more wolves. Thursday Musings from the Lone Star Outdoor Show Studio.